If you don't have a capture card and you want to be able to properly customise your PS4 live streams with custom stinger transitions, screens and overlays, then look no further as I'm going to show you how you can do just that to any streaming platform of your choice. Let's get into this. So first off, you're going to want to turn on your PS4 and make sure that it is connected to the internet. Now you're actually going to want to create a new user unless you are already signed into a second PSN account. Make sure that this second account is associated with a PlayStation Network profile, otherwise this will not work. It's also worth noting that this second account does not need to have PS Plus, but if you do intend streaming online games, then your primary account will need it. Anyway, go ahead and sign in to that second account, and then navigate to the system settings menu, then to account management, and then make sure that you have the PS4 you will be streaming from activated as that account's primary PS4. Now, disconnect the controller from a PS4 by holding the PS button for 10 seconds, or by turning it off in the sound and devices menu. Now, head over to your PC you will be streaming from. So now you are on your PC, you want to go ahead and first make sure that you have Streamlabs OBS or any other kind of streaming software installed. I'll link the download to Streamlabs OBS in the description below so you can go and install that if you don't yet have it. So if you also go ahead and look in the description, you're going to find yourself a link to a PS4 Remote Play website where you can download this for your PC. Now this is actually the magic behind everything we're going to be doing and it is going to require a fairly stable internet connection but if you do have anything 15 meg down, 15 up, roughly anything of that then this is going to work very very well and your streams are going to be significantly improved. So for any Windows users you're going to want to go ahead and click Windows PC which is going to be me and anyone who's on Mac you can go ahead and download the Mac version of this. But first off you want to download PS4 Remote Play by going down here and then here you can see it says Windows PC so download that from here. So as you can see if you like exe file is there but now you have PS4 Remote Play right here. So go ahead and open that, just wait for this, and then you want to go ahead and go into settings. Now here you're going to want to sign in to the PlayStation Network using the same second account we just created or you already had on the PS4. So you're going to want to use that email address and that password, so I'm going to go ahead and quickly input that now. And then what you're going to want to do is simply click OK. And then you're going to want to open up these settings again and we're going to have to have a look at these settings depending on your internet. Now I do recommend keeping the frame rate on high as this is what's going to make the stream look super smooth for the viewers. So you want to keep it on high but if your internet can't cope with this at all then try it on standard and see if anyone complains. Now if you want to be streaming in full HD so that's full 1080p then you are going to want to make sure you are using a PS4 Pro otherwise this will not work and you'll only be able to stream in 720p which might actually be all your internet can handle anyway. So for best performance probably choose 720p to make sure you won't gain any drops but just for the purpose of this video and because I do actually do it in 1080p I will be selecting 1080. Now as you can see only available for PS4 Pros the 1080p option. Also note that the selection of frame rate is high will pause the actual PS4 from recording background footage but that doesn't really matter. So text entry you want to make sure this is not on use keyboard and change PS4 to connect to. Don't do that as we have actually said it as a primary PS4 so you won't have to go through this info. Then click OK. Now what you're going to want to do is take one of your PS4 controllers. Now if you only have one, this isn't going to be really possible for you unless you do use some sort of emulator. If you do need help using an emulator, then please do tell me in the comments and I will try and help you with that. But anyway, take a second PS4 controller, the one you will not be using to play, and take a USB cable and plug this into your PC. So now I have the DualShock 4 plugged into my computer and we can go ahead and either click the options button on the controller or simply just click start with the mouse. So if you go ahead and do that, this should search for a PlayStation 4. And here we go, we have connected to the PlayStation 4 now. And as you can see, the PS4 is here on our PC in 1080p 60fps. So what you want to do now is simply keep this thing open, don't do anything with it, and now you want to go ahead and actually open up Streamlabs OBS. Simply make a new scene, so add a scene here and enter the name of the scene, so if I just call this PS4, and then you want to actually add the source file to this. So for this we're going to use Window Capture, which is right here, add source, and then 
click add source and then if it hasn't automatically detected this, I don't actually know why mine did, you want to open the source properties and make sure that it is selected the window to be remote play dot x ps4 remote play and keep that selected and then match title otherwise yep that's still fine keep that as it is and disable capture cursor and multi adapter compatibility now click done now you can see you have your ps4 on here and it is there ready to stream and be captured so if i switch to one i already have set up as you can see i have audio output capture enabled which is something you do want to make sure so if we go ahead and set this up Audio output capture, there we go, add source, right there, and make sure that is actually capturing all of the stuff coming out of your speakers connected to your PC, is remote play should actually be making some audio right now. And if it isn't, you want to go down here, search for sound mixer, and then make sure that you have PS4 remote play all the way up, as I actually don't. So make sure that is up there, if there's no sound coming out of that, now you can see sound is being captured, which is actually for PS4. But now we actually want to get to using the other account to be able to play. So simply what you want to do is take your other remote, the one that you're going to be playing with, and turn that on and connect it to the PS4. So if you click the PS button on that, it should automatically pair with the PS4. And then you're going to want to go ahead and select your primary account right here. So I've now signed in to my primary account and then you're going to want to switch screen by pressing the PS button. As you can see that has switched screens and I am now on my primary account to be able to stream from the PS4 and if you play this, if your PC is connected to the same display as your PS4 then this could be an issue but all you want to do is simply switch over HDMI and you can actually use an app on your phone called Stream Deck which is registered by Streamlabs to actually connect your phone to be a, to Streamlabs to be able to switch between scenes and do all of that stuff. So if you do want to do that go to settings at the bottom left here and then remote control and simply scan this code on Stream Deck on your phone. And then you can set all the settings there or alternatively if you do have your PC hooked up to a second display and have a good streaming setup then you can control everything from there. But here all you want to do is you can simply boot up whatever game you want to play. You play it on your primary display, there's no input lag for you at all, there might be a tad of input lag for a viewer and here it is. Look, it's good quality, everything is being streamed as it should be. You can add all of your extra stuff onto this such as widgets and you know your overlay transitions so you can switch to a be right back screen like that and then back to the ps4 screen all that stuff you can now do in here and actually as regard to how we're going to stream this go to your settings go to the stream and then you want to select the streaming service you want to do so i'm actually currently streaming to restream which is an option that lets you stream to multiple platforms simultaneously but if you were to stream to youtube or youtube gaming then simply go to there and then get all the info from youtube as you normally would do when you're setting up a stream to make sure it is streaming to your account but I'm just going to keep it on restream. Then you want to make sure everything in general is set up as it should be. To keep all those same settings. Then go ahead onto output. And make sure the encoder is set to either hardware NVNC, NVENC. Sorry, or the, the one that says new. Both of these work extremely well. Basically these two are using your GPU. If you are on an AMD graphics card. These will appear differently. But the options will be here. So select one of these. As it does tend to perform better than using the CPU. Which is the software option. And then now on screen. I'm actually going to flash up. What you want to be using in terms of bitrate. For the resolution you intend to stream at. But if you go ahead and choose CBR. And then change this bitrate. To the bitrate that matches your streaming quality on the picture I just displayed on screen is this will really really impact how smooth the stream is but it also will use a lot of your internet data so I'm going to keep this at 5000 as that tends to work quite well and keep it all as this all is max quality you can always play around with this and then audio that doesn't really matter too much and you can keep it as it is. Video, now this is where you're going to change the output. So make sure you have your common FPS values onto 60 ideally. Unless you did choose 30 as a standard option on PS4 Remote Play earlier. And simply 
choose your scale resolution this is what your viewer will be seeing so i do have this on 1920 by 1080 you can of course actually change this to 4k if you do wish to do that except do note that the ps4 remote play is only capturing in 1080p maximum not at 4k if you do have any issues at all with this method then please do leave a comment as I will respond as soon as I can and hopefully fix that problem for you. If you do want to learn more about PlayStation and stay up to date with all of the PS4 and PS5 news then please do also consider subscribing as well as clicking the bell icon so you don't miss another one of my uploads. Anyway that is all for me in this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone!